guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. So last weekend, this channel actually got freaking hacked. It was like some weird Bitcoin thing, and then they ended up doing like a live stream on my channel, and I didn't have access to this channel for like a whole day and a half. But luckily, all my YouTube videos are still there, and we're still good. But in case this ever happens again, make sure to go subscribe to my vlog channel and my clips channel. That way, I can kind of keep you guys up to date with what's going on. But anyway, guys, I am back. I am here to stay. Hopefully, I really hope that never happens again. That was probably one of the most scariest moments of my life, if I'm being like totally honest. But anyway. Oh, craft mystery, oh, craft mystery, oh, how the glue gun burns me. Oh, craft mystery, oh, craft mystery, it's craft this time with Robbie. We're gonna be doing something really fun. Oh, oh gosh. We're gonna be building this little tyke's house and turning it into a giant gingerbread house. Lori Bransky actually found this idea on TikTok and she told me about it. And I was like, that seems like it would be so much fun. Oh man, there's a lot of parts in here. This is gonna be uh, quite the process to put this together. But luckily, that's what the intern's for. Oh, intern! Bobby, what is it? I'm right behind the camera. I need you to put together this little tyke's house. I know, I heard. Okay, I'll see you later. All right, bye. Oh God, what have I gotten myself into? Okay guys, now I'm gonna go to the store and get some supplies to make this thing actually look like a gingerbread house. I feel like I was gonna be kind of lonely, so I actually brought a friend. I don't even know where to start. I guess I just gotta get everything out of the box. So as Robbie likes to say, I guess we won't be needing this anymore. Hey guys, I think I'm gonna get one of these for inspiration. This way we know what to look for, huh, Toby? Yeah. So it seems like the first thing we're doing is putting the wall together. It seems like it's gonna be a little harder than I thought. Oh, wait. Oh. Snap. And voila, we have one wall. <laughs> Just one wall. So now we'll move this to the back and we'll do it again. So on the bright side, we, we did it. And luckily nothing broke or got hurt. So I don't have to buy Robbie a new camera. Oh boy. A nice big bulk of candy. I think a couple of these should do. So with the next step, we're gonna be taking these screws and screwing them into these holes. And now they're telling us to grab these tiny things and put them on the little holes right here. One, the second one, the third, and the fourth. Oh, we're gonna need a lot of this. And now that we got these boys done, we can start setting up the actual walls. Uh, like what? I figured it out. I have to put it inside the little slot right here. Yes, let's go. We did it. It's all coming together. We freaking built it. Almost. Almost there. And some high tech Christmas lights. Oh. Yes. So our next step is screw in the wall with more of these children's screws. Next, we're gonna be putting on the doors. Oh, we did it! So now that we got the doors done, time for the roof. Hey, Robbie, get some of this insulating foam! Oh yeah, that's a good idea. I can make it look like snow. This is gonna be the first time in the project where we're actually gonna need a screwdriver and screws. And I thought we were gonna use these for the roof, but I think this is actually two tiny flagpoles. But on the bright side, it's the first time we're using big boy tools. And for the buttons, I think I can get some of these guys and paint them different colors. So let's do that. So now it's time we're gonna start putting together the roof. So all we really gotta do is just lay this right on top. Oh no, this is upside down. I popped it in for nothing. Oh, that looks so much better. Okay, you have to put in the little screws up at the top this time. Okay, so now I got the spray paint. We got a lot of them. I think we're good to go. You see these white little parts? We're gonna cover them up with this. And they just slap right on. And we're done with that. This is the final step where we're gonna be putting in the windows. Oh no, there seems to be a problem here. They actually gave us two of the same side window panels. So one of them is gonna be backwards. Well, it'll have to do because we have no other choice and we're done. Whoa, oh, hey, is that? Robbie, how's it going? Did you finish it? It's good. I literally just finished right now as you walked in, Robbie. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's your brand new home. I get two doors? Yes, sir. Okay, I can, I can work with this. No, I'm also confused too because I just realized that one of those window panels has to be upside down because they gave us two of the same ones. You can't just flip it up? No. I'll take a look over it. <laughs> you can't flip it over? You can't just like... Oh! That's
That's why I'm the intern, not the craft king. Okay guys, so before I actually start on the house, I'm gonna start painting all the little button guys. I bought these carpet sliders, because I figured that they would probably be the best thing. I mean, they're already round. I painted one orange just to see how it would look, and I think that it understood the assignment. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint all these really quick. Okay guys, let's get to painting. Okay, so now we are actually taking off the roof. He's ruining all of our hard work. We're taking off the roof and we're going to paint this part brown. And then when we're done painting all this brown and making it look like gingerbread, we are gonna put the roof back on. It pops off. Yep. Careful. There we go. Okay, gotta bring this guy to the painting booth. All right, here we go, we're moving. I don't think it's gonna fit through the door. Okay, it looks like we're going through the side yard. I got it, here, you meet me in the back. Okay. On this side of the wall. All right, Robbie, I'm here. Okay. Do you want me to throw it over to you? I don't think I'll be able to catch it, but I could just like grab it. There we go. Woo! Bring a hell. Now we're gonna put our little house inside of the big inflatable house. And up it goes. What up guys, wanna check out my new crib? So this is my brand new inflatable house! It's a spray paint room, this way I don't get spray paint everywhere. Here, make sure this side. Oh yeah. Concludes day one. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay guys, so we're actually gonna be repainting these doors red. I forgot to take them off uh, when we were painting the entire house, but I really like the red color. So we're actually gonna use an even brighter high gloss uh, red. That way it kind of looks like candy. There we go, and now they're red again. Okay guys, so now we're gonna go in with this insulating foam. We're gonna make the frosting that goes on top of the gingerbread house. I've never used this before, so this is gonna be interesting. I definitely need to put on my mask. Okay, and our little gingerbread house has kind of like uh, the texture stuff up here. I don't have a long strip like that. <gasps> oh wait, I think I do. I can make it out of a giant candy cane from the Craftmas tree. This one looks like it's not doing anything. Okay, boobity boop. Okay, now we're gonna stick this right on top. There we go. It's kind of pushing some of our foam over, but you know, it doesn't look bad. Now I'm gonna add the little woobity whoops uh, thing right here, and then the intern is going to add the little candies. What's up guys, I am now a pink haired boy. Oh God, oh God. So the roof is now complete and uh, I have it on its side right now. That's why everything feels so askew. So the reason we have it up on its side right now is so that when we do the foam, it won't all just fall off. So we have to do each side one by one. So that's fun. So we're gonna start off with, uh, I think this is the left side. We're gonna call it the left side. Oh God, oh no. So now we're gonna go in and add peppermints to the outside of the window. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wait for the foam to kind of stiffen up a little bit because they keep sagging all the foam, oh no! Okay, so I went ahead and added the little candy cane guys. It didn't turn out very neat right here. Uh, I actually tried to wipe it up because it ended up just like falling down and <laughs> it looks pretty sloppy, not gonna lie. I'll do better on the front. Luckily this is a side, so no one's actually gonna be looking at this that closely. Um, so now we're gonna flip it over and do the front. Right, the back? We'll say this is the back for now. Okay, all right, we're gonna just flip it over. Cool, now we do this side. Okay, this side's all done. Now time for another uh, flip -a uh, Oh gosh, that should do it right. Now time to decorate this side. Oh God, 
I messed up. Uh. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, one last flip -a rooney Here we go. Last side to decorate. Now it's the next day and I have to try and somehow get this thing inside of my house. The problem is I measured it and it's exactly three feet wide. Now that's cool and all, but my door is also exactly three feet wide. So there's gonna be a little bit of scraping here. So I think the best way to do this is to go inside and just go ahead and raise the roof. Oh gosh. Oh, here we go guys. On the move. Oh yeah. I have a gingerbread house delivery for Tor Dabransky. Oh God, is it gonna fit? No. Okay. Oh my God. Oh. Okay. So what you're saying is, so it's like, where am I getting caught up here? It's the roof frosting. The roof frosting? The roof frosting. The roof frosting. The roof frosting. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. What's your suggestion? I think we just have to keep pushing. Yeah? Okay, I'll go on the outside. Oh, hey, I'm back. Oh, God. Yeah, it's totally gonna break that. We only broke it a lot. Oh man, I'm gonna have to do so many repairs on <laughs> What? Tour de France. What? Do you have home insurance? <laughs> what, gingerbread house insurance? Oh my gosh. Well, we got it in, I guess. Okay guys, so I managed to move it uh, kind of next to the Craftmas tree, and I think it looks fantastic here. It looks great. And I think that it would be a great idea if we made this, the new entrance, into the Craftmas tree. Here, let me show you what I mean. So we're gonna go through here, and then there's actually an entrance that you can go inside. I don't think I've shown you guys this yet, uh, except for on my vlog channel, but I actually made it so that you can climb up into the Craftmas tree. Here, let's go spelunking. So we go in here. Uh, sorry about this, it's kind of messy right now. Then we can go up here. And now we're on the second layer of the Craftmas tree. But you know what? It gets better than that. We can go up a whole nother layer, see? In fact, after that, it just keeps going and then we can go up even higher. It's been about a year since I built this thing, so I figured I should get my use out of it. If you guys have any other ideas for the Craftmas tree, let me know down in the comments down below. So in order to make this a new entrance, I'm gonna have to shift the Craftmas tree a little bit. Uh, this is gonna be a pain in the butt, I can already tell. So I'm gonna go ahead and use all my strength to try and turn it. Hopefully I don't mess this up. Okay, from back here would be a good start. Okay, so now we can just go in. Yeah, but yeah, here's our new entrance to the Craftmas tree. I'll clean it up eventually, but you know, for now, it looks pretty sick. All I'm saying is I don't know anyone who can say that they have a 15 foot tall Craftmas tree attached to a giant gingerbread house in their house. If you can name anyone, uh, let me know down in the comments, but I can't, I couldn't think of a single person. But we forgot one more thing, and that is the doors. Okay guys, so this is how the door turned out after I uh, repainted it red. Um, we got some kind of not so nice marks on here, but overall it turned out uh, not too bad. So the intern actually suggested I turn these doors into candy canes. So we're gonna use this white tape to put stripes on it. Okay, wow, this actually turned out a lot nicer than I thought it would. Not bad, pretty, pretty nice. Now let's go put this on our gingerbread house. Oh, yes, the good old doors. Pop, there we go. Oh, doesn't look like the door likes to close all the way. <laughs> I put too much foam, but you know what? It kind of, it works, okay? That's fine. So what if it doesn't close all the way? It still opens, right? Okay guys, and I am done! Look at this freaking gingerbread house! Look at me go! I did it! I freaking did it! Wow! Okay guys, now to add the finishing touches, like these Christmas lights. Oh yes, 
That is uh, so much better. I truly feel the holiday spirit now. Some of this fake snow might not be a bad idea either. Oh yes, boobity boop. Go ahead and cover up some of these parts that I really just messed up. It's just frosting, see? Okay, and that ought to do it. Wow, this turned out way better than I thought it would actually. Honestly, there were some points where I was like, this is not gonna turn out good. I'm pretty glad I didn't listen to myself and I actually ended up completing this. It took me about four days to make, but you know what? A lot of it was just waiting for the foam to cure. But overall, I'm gonna have to say that it turned out really good. Woo! Okay guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure Give it a big old thumbs up. Looks like my best fight right down there. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on all notifications. I upload every weekend. At least I try. I missed last weekend. I'm sorry. My channel got hacked, okay? So make sure to also subscribe to Robbie Clips and Robbie Vlogs just in case this channel ever gets hacked ever again. Also, if you guys want to watch me make the craft mystery, you can click on this card right here. Okay, guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi Fi. Awkward ending. Okay, bye. Ah!